The aorta is the largest blood vessel in the body. There are four regions of the aorta. You have the ascending aorta, the arch of the aorta, the thoracic aorta, and finally the abdominal aorta. The ascending aorta gives off the right and left coronary arteries to supply the heart. The first branch of the arch of the aorta is the brachiocephalic artery, which quickly divides into the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. Next we have the left common carotid artery, and next to that the left subclavian artery. The aorta now descends through the thorax, piercing through the diaphragm at the level of T12. We next see the small paired branches of the inferior phrenic arteries, which supply the underside of the diaphragm. Next we have the celiac trunk, supplying the liver, stomach, abdominal esophagus, spleen, the superior duodenum, and the superior pancreas. Immediately below the celiac trunk at L1, we have the superior mesenteric artery, which supplies the distal duodenum, the jejeno-ilium, ascending colon, and part of the transverse colon. At the junction between L1 and L2, we have the paired renal arteries that supply the kidney, and just below them, we have the paired gonadal arteries. Next, we have the inferior mesenteric artery at the level of L3, which supplies the large intestine from the splenic flexure to the upper part of the rectum. At L4, we have the bifurcation of the aorta into the common iliac arteries, which further divide into the external and internal branches at L5-S1.